For me, it's more about getting my kids used to eating healthy foods. Um, if there is the upside of, you know, potentially having some anti-cancer benefits or, or helping um, our hearts or improving our health, I think that's great. I really am concerned about um, the food that they eat and, and trying to ensure that they get you know, proper nutrients and a balanced diet. So for me, it does make sense to pay a little bit more, um, considering that you know that little bit of broccoli can pack more of a punch. When you eat this broccoli, what it does, it, it helps your fat to metabolize much more faster. And so you get a decrease in certain number of fats, particularly one called cholesterol, LDL cholesterol. So you get a reduction in cholesterol in your bloodstream, and that means you're less likely to get atherosclerosis and thickening of, of the artery. I eat lots of fruit. <laughs> Um, cycle 25 miles every day um, and martial arts as well. If, if somebody can show me some sort of scientific evidence that it's actually got any sort of health benefits over and above normal broccoli, then I might consider it, yeah. get people eating more healthily, you know, and using the local greengrocer really to get fresh produce which somebody has hand-picked and then they can eat on the day. And if it's going to be healthier, well, it's all good. Many people would say all these vegetables are a medicine cabinet already um, and, and certainly there's lots of evidence if you eat a variety of vegetables you're likely to maintain good health. Now it is probably true that in each of these individual chem vegetables there are different chemicals which if we slightly increase may, 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 may enhance the health but actually we don't really have much knowledge about which ones at the moment. <laughs> 